basically have struggled with acne. It's like almost completely gone. That one's gonna be $700. You were just being rude just to be rude. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, okay, I'm going to the dermatologist. I have not been before. This is gonna be my first time. I basically have struggled with acne for quite a few years now. I mean, I never did in high school or anything, which was nice, but I have been struggling for a while now and I'm over it. I can't figure out how to get my skin to stay clear. And so I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna see if they can tell me like, maybe it's something I'm eating, maybe it's like, cause I've even heard, there was like this one lady that made a post about it, but apparently what was giving her acne was her laundry detergent. And she would have never known had she not gone to the dermatologist. So I just wanna see if they can tell me what is wrong, what I need to be doing differently, so I can just have clear skin. Cause I, uh, I just want clear skin. I will definitely let you guys know like what they say, how that goes. Okay, so I just finished up and here's the update. So one, this place is like really nice. <laughs> so love the people that work there. They were so sweet, but she prescribed me like so many different things. I am hoping that my insurance covers a lot of it, if not all, but we will see. But she did end up like writing down for me like, the order for the morning and at night so I'm like okay and then we already went ahead and scheduled another appointment for a month from now so then she can see like how the products are working for me i do think i have to wait a bit before i go pick up the prescription so i think i'm gonna go home and eat and then i'll probably go pick up the prescription and then honestly i'll probably just get ready to go to the gym so then i'll just go to the gym afterwards so yeah so little update i'm sorry i'm guessing this vlog so far is just me in my car so i'm finally going to go get the prescriptions they did call me though and apparently two of the prescriptions that i was supposed to get aren't covered by my insurance which obviously like it's like totally fine and whatever except she goes so this one's not covered so that one's gonna be 700 dollars and then this face lotion isn't covered and that one's 1120 dollars i was like oh okay um i'll pass thanks though <laughs> and she kind of laughed she's like it's okay i get it but then i ended up just calling my dermatologist and i was like hey these ones aren't covered is there anything else you would recommend or i was talking to obviously the front desk person at the dermatologist specifically so then she was like oh i'll talk to her let her know and see if there's anything else she would recommend you getting so we're gonna wait and see on those. Anywho, we're gonna go pick up that and then I am going to go to the gym. Also, another thing I wanna talk about is drivers. Who is honking at who? But some people suck at driving. Like they are truly awful. And I genuinely just wanna know how they got their license. And living in LA, you see some of the worst drivers ever. But also you see some of the greediest drivers. Like me driving in Nebraska, it's like, oh, if somebody has their blinker on and they're trying to get over, I'll push on my brakes a little bit and I'll like let them over. Like, of course you're trying to get over. You are using the tools you are given to indicate that you wanna get over. So yeah, I'm gonna let you over. And the fact that some other people don't do that for me <laughs> really drives me crazy because I was like pulling out of my parking spot and then I had to, like where I live is almost on the corner. It's not completely on the corner, but I basically have to pull out and then get over in the left lane right away to turn left. So I like pull out and I put on my blinker and I start getting over it. And there's this car way back there. Like I had plenty of room to get over. I have a blinker on and everything. And he like lays on his horn and I'm like, I like look and I'm like, literally what? What do you mean? Why are you honking at me? What for? I let you know I was getting over. I was not in danger of hitting your car. Why? But some people are just so, I don't know. They just love laying on their horn for the tiniest things. And again, it, it was very clear that I was like backing out. You fully saw me. There were no cars around. You were the only one. And then I had my blinker on it. Like you were aware of what was happening. You were just being rude just to be rude. And there's a red light right there. So it's not like, not gonna get anywhere any quicker anyway. He has to stop at this red light right here. So I don't know, people just irritate me <laughs> because I'm like, it's not that hard to just be a nice driver and to be good at it. 
we are here. I'm going to go pick up my prescriptions. And right now it's just the copay, which is like $3 or whatever. So I'm like, okay, sweet. And then I also have to get face wash that is apparently just over the counter. So I'm just going to like grab it. Hopefully I get the right one. So bag secured. I was going to like film in there and whatever, but there were a lot of people and I have encountered some really scary people here. So I was like, let me not. So yeah, see y'all at the gym. the next day i am getting a late start to this vlog because it's already probably like 1 45 i would guess i already had work at my first job this morning and then now i drove over here and now i am babysitting but quick little update on the product so far okay so tretinoin is supposed to be super drying for the skin which i will say when i used it last night oh my gosh immediately these spots right here as you can see started to get dry like right away, but I do have my face spray. It's a toner, but it's like a hydrating one that I spray on right before I do my moisturizer. So I do the tretinoin, let it sink in, spray my face, let that sink in. Then I put the moisturizer on and then good to go. So I did that and again, I mean, I've only used it one time, but I do feel like that helped because my skin honestly isn't like too dry right now so far feeling pretty decent about the products. Really, really hoping, because I have heard a lot of people say that with tretinoin, there's like a purge stage where your skin gets worse before it gets better. So I'm a little nervous for that. I did see like for some people that doesn't happen. Also, I know I'm babysitting, he's on the toilet. <laughs> so that's why I went ahead and started vlogging. So just in case if anybody's like, you're babysitting, but you're not paying attention to the kid, he's going to the bathroom. So just thought I'd say that really quick. But yeah, so I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the skin, but for right now, pretty good. I will see y'all later, probably when I go to the gym. Okay, so it is now actually the next day. I got off work and unintentionally decided to do some shopping. And I wanted to show you guys this top because it is literally so comfortable and I got it at H&M. Then this jacket, I know it's not gonna be everybody's style because it is really oversized, but if I had the money for it, I would have 100% gotten this jacket. I think it is so freaking cute. And then this purse, so simple, but I just thought it was adorable and it was really cheap. It was like $6.99. So just thought I'd throw that in there in case anybody cares. Hello. Okay, so it is now the next day. I'm sorry, I did not end up vlogging anymore yesterday because I just didn't feel good. I did end up doing an arm workout though. I did do it at home, but basically you guys didn't miss out on much. I just did laundry, I ate, I did my skincare, I did a workout, all those things. But I'm feeling better today. I did take medicine, so hooray. And I did have work this morning. And then as you saw from the clips before, I did end up doing some shopping. That was unplanned. That was just like a, oh, I kind of saw some cute things in the window and I was like, oh, let me just like walk in there and see. I shouldn't have done that. Oh crap, I gotta go. Um, <laughs> I just remembered, I actually need to go to Walgreens because while I was at work, I got a phone call from a dermatologist. So apparently she found some other stuff that she wants me to get. So I need to go, cause then I got a call from Walgreens that it's ready for pickup. So I am gonna go do that first before I forget and then I'll go to Target. Guys, I've got to stop spending money. This is actually getting ridiculous at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'll see y'all in a bit. Oh <laughs> my goodness, that took so long. I have been in there. I think that took 40 minutes, 40. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? And mind you, there were four people standing in front of me, four people. I was like, why did it take you 40 minutes to help four people? <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it, it, it didn't take too long for them to help me because I 
like my prescription was already ready. So I'm wondering if some of these people just showed up and they're like, hey, I need this. And then they have to make the fill right then. But anyway, I got this. This is for the spot on my head. Hopefully this will help it like leave. Because again, kind of like my acne, I will start, like it'll start going away. And then all of a sudden I just wake up one morning and it's really dry again. And I'm like, what in the world? Right now I'm driving home and I'm eating. Oh my God, I'm starving. So see y'all in a bit. All right, so it is actually a couple days later, but I'm inserting this now because I realized I never actually told you guys the order that my dermatologist told me to use these products in. So I just wanted to let you know. So this is the face wash. This you'll use morning and night. You can also use it on your chest and your back if you struggle with acne there. Then in the mornings only, you would apply this product. Now she told me to only use this on days where I'm gonna be going to the gym or dancing or just doing something where I would excessively sweat. This just helps to prevent acne from coming. And again, she told me I could use it on my chest and back if I struggle with that at all. So that's what that's for. Then if it was nighttime, the product that I would use instead is the tretinoin. Again, this is only for night use. And I just apply it personally. I mean, I never actually asked if it's supposed to be like used all over, but I only apply it where I'm struggling with acne. Then next up, I go in with this guy, which is just for the dry patch on my head. Then next, you would just go in with moisturizer. This is just whatever moisturizer you have. I didn't get this from the dermatologist, but I personally go in with this first. It's a toner, but it's like a hydrating toner. It's a power peptides good for the skin. And then I apply my moisturizer, just put that all over my face and neck. Then next you're just gonna go in with sunscreen. This is the one that I use again. This wasn't necessarily recommended by the dermatologist. She just told me to make sure to put sunscreen on. You obviously wouldn't do this at night. This would just be in the morning. And then lastly, these little pills here, I think they're called doxycycline. Yeah, if that's how you pronounce it. But these ones I do use morning and night. And I'm just supposed to take it with like a light meal or a snack. But yeah, that's just how I use those products and in that order. So I just wanna let you guys know. All right, so it is, oh my gosh, the sun is clearly right on the side of my face. So the lighting's probably a little funny, but it is now Thursday. Now it's probably kind of hard to tell, but this is what the skin is looking like. I'm also at a red light clearly, which is why I'm the hands are off and I'm not looking. This is what the skin's looking like. Again, it's probably kind of hard to tell because the light's like right over here. But so far, I'm not mad about it. I will say the cream that I used on my head worked like immediately. My, it's like almost completely gone. My skin almost feels completely like normal. And I have been struggling with this since I want to say November. It got really bad in December because I went home for the holidays, but in the winter time, it always gets so bad. And it was like this last year too. And like, I have not been able to get it to go away. And what do you know? I use that and then like almost immediately, it's better. So, so I'm very happy with that. That makes me really excited. I'm really hoping to have the same results with the tretinoin and the other products, but we shall see. I do kind of think that I'm starting to get a little bit of the purging. I haven't dealt with any of the dryness though. Like my skin feels completely normal. Yeah, that's just basically the update on my skin right now. We'll see what happens, but it does look like a little bit of purging is happening. So yeah, okay, talk to y'all later. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give. Okay, so, wow, that lighting is awful. I'm gonna try and film this like really, really quick because Kiara's about to come outside because I'm here to pick her up because we are gonna go shopping. But I just wanted to give an update on my skin. In this light, you can see I have makeup on, obviously. I do think my skin is purging a little bit because I am getting like, you can see the little bit of texture, but it's not bad. And as you can see, my skin's not like dry and like flaking off or anything. So, like I am, I am fine with the purging if my skin clears up like in the end. If at the end of the day I have clear skin, I'm happy. Even if it means bad skin for like a little while, that's okay. I just want clear skin. So yeah, this is what the skin's looking like. I can feel that there's like a deep one coming in right there. Oh, and then my forehead. 
it's smooth. Like, I'm gonna close my eyes <laughs> because it's really bright. It was like, I'm talking, I might, I don't know if I'll have a photo. If I do have a photo to like show, I will insert it right here. But of like how bad and like red and irritated my forehead was and like the skin was flaking off. So, the, I mean, I have used that product like four times and it completely helped. So two thumbs up for that because I have been trying to get that to go away for so long. So I'm really, really happy about that. I do think potentially I'm gonna end the video here. If I have anything else to insert, then obviously I'll insert it after this. But if you guys wanna like continue to see updates, definitely like stay tuned for more videos. I think that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. And I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Where'd you go? Oh, you know how I've been